ओके यू नो दैट इन एन ह्यूमन सेक्सेस आर सेपरेट मेल इंडिविजुअल एंड फीमेल इंडिविजुअल दे पजेस इज द सेपरेट रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम प्राइमरी सेक्स ऑर्गन दैट इज टेस्ट इज प्रेजेंट इन अ मेल एंड ओहरी दैट वन इज प्रेजेंट इन द फीमेल other than that primary sex organ there are some secondary sexual characters which are different in male and female and that's why one can say there is a sexual dimorphism in a human being males are looking different than the female so that is sexual dimorphism for example in a male there is presence of beard then one can say beard means tadi then mustache here on chest then large larynx so these are the some secondary sexual characters in an human male what is that presence of mustache beard then here on chest and a enlarged larynx if we see in an female there is a different secondary sexual character just like that what is that increase size of breast breast stana granthi mantat tala that size is increase in an female another one the pelvis is enlarged pelvis means the girdle that is the pelvic region in that pelvic region that one is larger in a female then another one is a high pitch voice so this one is so what is that here in a female there is a onset of menstrual cycle increase in size of breast then another one is a enlarged pelvis so these are the some secondary sexual characters in a male presence of beard then mustache then muscular body is also secondary sexual character in a male so males are looking different than the females so that's why it is called as a sexual dimorphism aplya kade udaharan ahe baga morach peacock mantat tala ki tyachyamadhe mor ani tyachi ji landor aste ti disayla vegle astat tela sexual dimorphism mantat so in a male there is presence of a male reproductive system so here male reproductive system see it is a diagram of a human male reproductive system that human male reproductive system it is a system so that consists of different type of organs you know that very well different cells constitute and a tissue different type of tissue that constitute an organ and different type of organs that constitute an a organ system here is the male reproductive system that is present in the male individual and the main function of male reproductive system is to produce the male gametes and another word to discharge the gametes into the female reproductive tract these are the two main functions of the male reproductive system so what for that male reproductive system is present in the body of a human being that one is present for formation of sperms that is male gametes and another one is a to transfer that sperms into the female genital tract so here male reproductive system consist of primary male organs then accessory ducts and internal and external genitalia so here that male reproductive system consist of what is that here is the primary male organs one can say the primary male organs primary male organ and what is that primary male organ that one is a testis that is called as a gonads so this one is a gonad 
Now here in a human being that is in a male, there is a primary male organ that is called as a testis in which sperms are produced. Then second one is an accessory ducts and glands. Second one is a accessory ducts and glands. Accessory ducts and glands. So accessory ducts means that, that sperms are produced inside the testes. That should be carried towards the urethra. So there is a duct. Duct is called vahini. When the testes are prepared for sperm, if you don't have any nature still, then you have to have ducts. What do you mean? Accessory ducts. And next to that, there is a glands. There are some glands which are associated with the male reproductive system. Nantar apan pahana racha hoot. What is the function of that particular gland? And which are the glands that one is associated with the male reproductive system? And next to that, the third one is, here is the presence of internal and external genitalia. Third one is the... It is internal and external genitalia. So that male reproductive system consists of what is that primary male organ that is primary sex organ that is gonad that is not the thing but the testes. Then here is the accessory ducts then glands and internal and external genitalia. So we will study one by one. So here primary male organ, accessory ducts and glands, internal and external genitalia. Okay, we will study here the primary male organ that is nothing but what is that? Testes. So here is the testes. Testes. So here see, it is an a uh, male reproductive system in which that one is a testes. So see here, this one is a testes. So how many testes are present? Two testes are present. So here testes, that is primary sex organ in male and that testes are two in number two in number kitya hai two and that one is oval in shape the shape of that testes it is a oval so testes are oval in shape that testes are mesodermal in origin what is that? It is mesodermal in origin. So what is that mesodermal in origin? Mesodermal in origin means during the embryonic development, zygote divides, re-divides and that forming the three germ layers. Inner one endoderm, middle one mesoderm and the outer one is the ectoderm. So endoderm, mesoderm and ectoderm that is the three germ layers. From that three germ layers different organ and organ systems are formed. So here testes is the organ that is formed from the which layer? That is mesoderm. So one can say testes are the mesodermal in origin. So testes are mesodermal in origin. You got it? What is mean by mesodermal? So that is formed from the mesoderm and that's why it is called as a mesodermal in origin. Another one thing is that what is the size of testes? The size of testes is the length of testes. It is near about 4 to 5 centimeter. What is that? 4 to 5 centimeter. Then another one, the wide width that is 2 to 3 centimeter and here is the 3 centimeter thickness. So testes 
What is the test is? The length is here 4 to 5. 4 to 5 centimeter. That is the length. Then width. Here is width. Then width. So that is 2 to 3 centimeter. 2 to 3 centimeter. And here is the thickness. Thickness. Thickness are the value Thickness means that it is zadi as the way. Manje lambi, rundi, and it is zadi. Length manje lambi. Width manje rundi. And it is thickness. The thickness manje tachi wide manje rundi. Thickness manje zadi as the way. Lam, runda, and it is zadi. The thickity ahe 3 centimeter ahe. 3 centimeter. So length of that test is, is 4 to 5 centimeter. Width is 2 to 3 centimeter and here is thickness that one is a 3 centimeter. A 3 centimeter parenthachi thickness ahe asa aplela santa ite. Mang ite testes ya kuthe astar. Testes are located in the scrotum. So see here that is the pouch like structure. In that pouch like structure that testes are present. In an embryonic condition, in an early stage of development, testes are present in the abdominal cavity. So, testes where they are present, they are present in the abdominal cavity during the embryonic development. So, see here, suppose this one is a body, here is the thoracic cavity, this is the abdominal cavity. So, during the embryonic condition, that testes are present inside the abdominal cavity. So testes are present here in an embryonic condition or one can see in an embryonic development. So it is present inside the abdominal cavity but later on what happened that testes are descended into the scrotum. So here is the scrotum. And now that testes are descend into the scrotum on the latter stage of development. And now here that testes are, one can say, descended into the scrotum through what is that? That is called as a inguinal canal. <coughs> inguinal canal so that is the inguinal canal through which that testes get descended into the scrotum so that testes are descended into the scrotum so now where that testes are located see here up to this this one is abdominal cavity and here is the scrotum now that testes are located outside the abdominal cavity. So one can say in a human being testes are extra abdominal in position. So here testes are extra abdominal in position. Extra abdominal in position means that one is present outside the abdominal cavity. So but firstly during the formation that is present in the rear abdominal cavity but later on the development that get descended into the scrotum and so one can say in an human male testes are extra abdominal in position so testes are extra abdominal in position but sometimes what happen that testes should be descended into the scrotum no doubt but sometime that testes do not get descend into the scrotum. So there is a failure of descent. One can say failure of descending that scrotum, that testes into the scrotum. So at that time what happened? There is a sterilization. So that milk cannot produce the young ones in which testes are present in the abdominal cavity. So failure of that uh, test is descended into that scrotum that is called as a cryptorchidism. So what is that? Cryptorchidism. 
So here is the cryptarchidism. This word is. So here, what is this? Cryptarchidism means the failure of testes into the scrotum. So testes that do not descend into the scrotum. If that one is not descended into the scrotum, then that condition causes the sterilization. And that failure of descending of a test is into the scrotum that is called as a cryptorchidism. Cryptorchidism means the failure of test is into the scrotum. Yeah, test is equal to sterilization of the plural test is mother. Yeah, two as that oval as that mesodermal origin just that. And if that test is mesoderm, you thun abdominal cavity madna, java scrotum madeta, the kashamadneta, inginal canal madneta, and the scrotum maderata, extra abdominal position just that, and outside the abdominal cavity as they, and you are a cryptor children of Samantha, you are a child of the pillar of the one day, test is worthy rata, scrotum made eight night, and it's there that the scrotum made a la nahi. तर तिथे काय होतं स्टेरिलिटी येते म्हणजे वांज पण आहे तो म्हणजे त्या पुरुषांकडून आपत्ती निर्माण होऊ शकत नाही असा त्याचा अर्थ आहे आता हे जे टेस्टीज असतात याचा जर आपण एलएस घेतला किंवा असे इथे आपल्याला पाहता येईल की याच्यामध्ये हे जे टेस्टीज असतात या स्क्रोटमला अटॅच झाले आहेत कशाने ही दॅट वन इज ए ग्युबरनॅक्युलम सो ग्युबरनॅक्युलम थ्रू व्हिच दॅट टेस्टीज आर अटॅच टू द हियर स्क्रोटम म्हणजे ज्या टेस्टीज असतात त्या स्क्रोटमला अटॅच झालेले असतात तर त्या अटॅच कशाने झालेले असतात तर त्याचं नाव सांगितलं आपण ग्युबरनॅक्युलम काय शब्द सांगितला आपण त्याला ग्युबरनॅक्युलम असा शब्द सांगितलेला आहे आता त्याच्या पुढे गेलो आपण तर आणखी आपल्याला असं सांगता येते की याच्यामध्ये काय होते हे जे स्क्रोटम असतात त्याच्यामध्ये मध्ये एक सेप्टम आहे म्हणजे दोन भाग पडतात त्याला म्हणतात ट्युनिका डार्टोस सी हिअर दिस वर्ड इज इथे याच नाव आहे ट्युनिका डार्टोस ट्युनिका डार्टोस सो इट इज व्हॉट इज दॅट सेप्टम इन बिटवीन स्क्रोटम म्हणजे हे स्क्रोटमचं असं पाऊच लाईक जे स्ट्रक्चर आहे त्याच्यामध्ये पार्टिशन असतं हे बघा इथे पार्टिशन दिसतं आपल्याला या पेणीच्या पाठीमागच्या बाजूला आणि दोन बाजूला दोन टेस्टीज असतात म्हणजे हे एक झालं आणि हे एक इथे मध्येच काय आहे जसं आपल्याला इथे सांगते समजा हे एक असं हे पाऊच लाईक स्ट्रक्चर म्हणजे स्क्रोटम आणि इथे एक टेस्टीज आहे आणि इथे आणि हा मधला जो पडदा आहे स्क्रोटमचा त्याचं नाव आहे ज्युनिका डार्टोस सो इट इज द सेप्टम बिटवीन दॅट स्क्रोटम त्या स्त्रोटमच्या मध्ये असलेला तो सेप्ट आहे आपल्याला असं सांगता येत आता त्याच्या पुढे गेलो आपण तर कधी कधी काय होत माहिती आपल्याला म्हणजे हे जे इंटेस्टाईन आहे आपल्या अब्डॉमिनल कॅव्हिटी मध्ये सम पार्ट ऑफ द इंटेस्टाईन वन कॅन से लूप ऑफ द इंटेस्टाईन दे मे गेट एंट्री इन टू द इंजिनल कॅनॉल म्हणजे लूप ऑफ इंटेस्टाईन दॅट मे समटाईम Get entry or that enters into the inguinal canal and that condition causes here hernia. That's just a dish of the hair. That's an inguinal hernia. That's a shot of the hair. That's a shot of the hair. That's a inguinal hernia. Inguinal hernia. आपण बऱ्याच वेळा असं ऐकतो की त्यांचं हरणियाचं ऑपरेशन केलं हरणिया झाला हरणिया होतो म्हणजे नेमकं काय होतं तरच आपला इंटेस्टाईनचा जो पार्ट आहे म्हणजे त्याचे लूप असतात ते वेटोळे वेटोळे तर त्यातला काही पार्ट कशामध्ये जातो त्या इंशुनल कॅनॉल मध्ये जातो आणि ती जी कंडिशन असते त्याला शब्द वापरलेला आहे इंजिनल हरणिया तर आता ह्या टेस्टीजचं आपल्याला काय करावं लागेल टी एस घ्यायला लागेल एल एस घ्यायला 